put your faith in Jesus now. Let His power reach down inside you. He can make you whole now. I feel the power of Almighty Father reaching down His head. of God. It's good and pleasant together, Lord, in your name. We ask a blessing on every place where men are gathered in your name today. Let your love be there. Encourage and lift up and bless as only you can. Draw us near the cross today. Open our hearts and minds to the truth of thy word, O oh God. Encourage every heart and lift up those that are in need and we thank you for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. It's good to see you all today. Good way to start the weekend. Sunday morning in the church. Worshiping the Lord. And Sister Judy is going to come. Lead our singing. Let's lift up our hearts to Him. Anybody love Jesus in this place today? Amen.
Unclean, unclean, unclean. And Jesus said that there were ten of them. He said, go show yourself to the priest after the order of Moses. And, and that as they went, the Bible said, they were cleansed. Amen. But one, come back and give him thanks. 
and he was made whole. There's a big difference, folks, being cleansed and being made whole. And and uh, and I thought about where he said, uh, Lord, if thou will, if thou can make me clean, he said, I will. That's his thing tonight. He will. Amen. If you will, he will. Yes, he will. Praise the Lord. Give me a decoy. Hallelujah. I can take a heart that's broken oh, and make it whole again. choices, things that they made, and oh, yes. sometimes the circumstances are dumped in your lap, and, and you don't know what to do about it, but surrender is the answer. Amen. I see people so close, they, you know, they talk about Jesus, they talk about the Lord, but they won't surrender. You know, it, it's so close, if we'll just give it to Him. That's right. Amen. Just Amen. give it to Him. Don't Casting worry. all I care upon him, for he careth for you. All right. And it's so simple. This is a simple way. And people complicate it with, I can't do it. Well, you can't do it, but he can. That's the good thing about the Lord we serve. And she's a George Jones fan. And she said, I know I had got that song somewhere. And I just heard it one day on the radio. And I said, man, I got to learn that. But well, you listen as I say it. I've had choices since the day that I was born. They were voices that told me right from wrong. I had listened to the near today, live and die with the choices I made. I was Oh, you're right, you're right. 
Now you might as well act like a Pentecost. Hallelujah. <laughs> Even the best reason act like a Pentecost. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And they got good. He is so good. How we praise him. How we praise him. How we praise him. Come on, children, let's stand. Lift him up tonight. Lift him up. He's worthy. He's worthy of all praise tonight. He's worthy of all praise. He love up on our body, don't have any shalom. He love our end, don't have no shalom. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we're going to start our service. You may be seated. I'm going to sing a song for Kevin here. <laughs> it's Kevin's song. He has inspired this song. <laughs> as, as the guy's telling me, we're in church up in Baptist City. You're making too much noise. So they can hear you. We can't hold you down. You understand that's why we didn't think so <laughs> He's a perpetual motion kind of type of preacher, you know what I mean? And he, he said, don't blame it on me. He said, blame it on the Holy Ghost. And the time I got home, I'd had the second verse uh, written. So, <laughs> And I've been singing it ever since. Hey, don't blame it on me. Somewhere along the way they lost their joy. They came full of fear and pride. And now they laugh at me. And I just smile and say, Oh, don't blame it on me. Don't blame it on me. Don't blame it on the Holy Ghost. Oh, I just keep sitting still. Just keep sitting still. He's a blessing in me. ready to divorce sure and uh, she came one Sunday and then the next Sunday he came and then the next Sunday they both came yes. and on Sunday night they came to the altar and renewed their vows with the Lord and and uh, they've been going ever since I, I just worked it out it's been a long time ago but it, I'm glad somehow we had a part in that and we, we, we enjoyed uh, telling people about that and watching God work in Brother Kevin's life and he's He's a blessing. He's different than anybody you ever see. And we're glad for that difference. We, you know, every individual is an individual in Christ. Amen. I thank God for his ministry and what he's doing. And his, his wonderful little wife, she's a blessing. She's a fine lady. She's a work tonight. Is she working tonight? Well, bless her heart. <laughs> she worked for us when we had our restaurant. And uh, and uh, we, uh, we had a lot of good fellowship with her. And 
So we're thankful, Brother Kevin. Once you come, brother, and just do it your way. Let the Lord have his way. We're going to get behind you and say, sick him, sick him. Sick him. Yes. Yes. I saw my uh, name in the bulletin. He said, I'm speaking tonight. I'm afraid. That's quick, wasn't it? Uh, true benevolence. The genuine. Yeah. Real. Yeah. Authentic. Has come out of this ministry. And uh, I'm not just uh, flattered, trying to flatter somebody, but uh, my God, it's uh, real compassion. Uh, the Bible says, some making a difference. Thank you, Lord. Some having compassion, making a difference. Uh, Daisy and uh, Sister Daisy and Brother Pat Bolton extended themselves in benefits, raising for uh, funeral costs and everything imaginable. Everything imaginable. And uh, God's really used them immensely. If I could number the people that's uh, got saved here in this building oh my. and been immersed in water, and is out working for the Lord, it would it would frighten you. Because yeah, you'd be worried about them all coming back and there wouldn't be no room for them. We never kept a record. Praise God. God has the record, though. Our Lord keeps the record. Amen. Uh, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a real big singer. Uh, I like to sing in a share, and I like to sing when I get anointed. But, uh, when I came to Jesus, I settled it all. I gave him my life to control. Neither fear nor persuasion could bring me to Christ, but his love has conquered my soul. His love has conquered my soul. His love has conquered my soul. Neither fear nor persuasion could bring me to Christ, but His love has conquered my soul. Real simple. Real simple. I'm a prisoner of love. I'm a slave to the Master. I willingly toil through the heat and the cold. Seek no reward in this world below. Payday will come, pearly gates will unfold. Oh, yes, When I came to Jesus, I said, Oh. deny him Amen. any longer. Amen, brother. Uh, turn your Bibles tonight, and uh, I feel like I, I heard from the Lord last week. And praise God. I love Brother Pat, and you all, it's good to see many of you were here 18, 17, 18 years ago when uh, when my wife and I and the family got saved. Yes, amen. We all got saved. 
uh, uh, redid our vows right here. Yeah. Praise God. Ronnie, come to my apartment sometime. I don't know. Oh, oh, well, you're at Wallace and married us. Long, long, long time. Thank God I was still in my pajamas. <laughs> that was real formal, you know what I mean? Real formal. <laughs> I got a lovely wife tonight. Praise God. You that know her will agree with me. Yes, Amen. Amen. Won't you? Absolutely, yes, sir. Praise God. She's put up with you, Brother Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm going to church in Bean Blossom with uh, uh, Faithful Gospel. No, I mean, where are you reading that? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Uh, Luke 9, 51. Uh, I do go to church in Bean Blossom at the Faithful Gospel Church yeah. there. It's close to home and, and uh, work out of there a lot. We love Brother Jim. We love the Spirit of God, folks. Amen. I love the Spirit of God. Uh, if we're the children of God, we must be led by His Spirit. Right? Amen. Praise God. The Spirit of truth coming to you, it'll lead and guide you into all, all truth. truth. You need no man to lead you or guide you. When the Holy Ghost comes in, He will show you. Hallelujah. Praise God. And if you'll listen. Praise the Lord. Uh, in the 51st verse, ninth chapter, and it reads, And it, and it came to pass when the time was come that he should, speaking of Jesus, be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem and sent messengers before him, and they went and entered into a village of Samaritan to make ready for him, to find a place for him to stay. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. Amen. And when his disciples... James and John uh, uh, saw this. They said, Lord, will thou that uh, we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, You know not what manner of spirit you are. And the 56th verse, For the Son of Man is not come to destroy man's lives, but to save them. Praise the Lord. Pray with me. Father God, we thank You tonight, Lord, how precious You are. Lord, You are so prevalent. God, as we see You even clearer, oh God, every day we see, dear God, of Your vast greatness and Your love for us. It's overwhelming. We thank You for Your presence here tonight in these songs and the testimonies. Oh God, in the endeavors, oh God, of this faith You have gave us ever growing. We praise You for it. Hallelujah. Yes, we ask your blessing here tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Here a while back, uh, just recently, uh, I was fortunate enough to, to uh, preach a message out of First Kings in the 19th chapter. Talking about Elijah after all that he had seen. All that Elijah had experienced, uh, of course you have to understand, little is said about him, he's a Tishbite and he was a Benjamite. Or, or his, his, he, was a, he was a Benjamite. And uh, little is really said about him. Uh, but he was an instrument of judgment. Elijah was an instrument that called by God, a prophet called by God, by God as a judgment over the idolatry and the worship of false gods. Uh -huh. Praise God, which Ahab... Uh, he addressed right away. You know, he addressed Ahab and and uh, you know the God, uh, the God of Baal, in whom they worship, was their God of rain and of fire and of crops. Yeah. And it's kind of ironic that uh, the Lord would send a prophet and tell Ahab, "Look, it's not going to rain, buddy. It's just not going to rain for three years." And then the Lord went and hid Elijah. He went and hid him. Amen. And, and Elijah was probably grateful for that. Due to Ahab's great strength, he probably uh, uh, took him too. In fact, he was he was scared. But uh, Elijah was a prophet uh, called by God, no doubt, to address the uh, uh, worship of Baal and of idolatry. And and I, uh, uh, Elijah saw the manifestation of God in many ways. Hallelujah! He saw God's manifestation all through the uh, 16th, 17th. Uh, or, or uh, 18th, 19th chapter of 1 Kings, you'll see different manifestations that uh, uh, Elijah saw the Lord. Nine. 
He, uh, you know, that God honored His word with yeah. Elijah. He said, you go tell Ahab it's not going to rain. And it didn't rain. And, and Elijah was down in the brook. And uh, uh, the ravens came from the king's house and fed him. And he stayed there until that brook dried up. And then yeah. he said, go up to Zarephath. There's a woman up there and she's going to uh, feed you. He said, I commanded her to feed. Of course, he went up there and he saw the provision of God. Amen. He told that uh, sister up there, uh, hey, you, you do what uh, I asked of you. And he said, you'll never... Uh, uh, go through this famine. He said, this famine will pass and you'll, you'll have plenty. And her barrel was always we full. Her always child full. up and died and he went in and laid on it. Amen. Yes. And uh, uh, she said, what have you done? You come down here and, and you're going to let my child die? But he went in and laid on the child. Praise God. Uh, uh, right up until the day that the Lord told him to go back and see Ahab and say, uh, go show yourself to Ahab. He said, and I will send rain. Praise God. Yeah, now it's a three year period, yeah. praise God, that Elijah saw the different manifestations of God's power. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Right up to the day, and then he ran into Obadiah and, and he said, uh, uh, Go tell your master, I want to see him. He said, uh, Well, I'll go tell him, and then you'll go hide. Amen. And he said, Then he'll kill me because he's been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> Amen. But uh, uh, Elijah said, No, 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 you go tell him I want to meet with him. So they had a great meeting over on Mount Carmel. Yeah, I mean, you'll see it in the 19th chapter, somewhere around about the 12th or 15th verse. Over uh, on Mount Carmel, they had a great meeting, and Baal uh, uh, set up their uh, uh, sacrifice and made their ox, and, and uh, Elijah picked out his ox from them, and they, they did all that, and you know, the God of Baal, the God uh, that answered with fire would be the right God, yeah, right? Amen. Hallelujah. But they, uh, 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 Baal did not answer. Hallelujah. <laughs> nope. Baal did not Baal answer. Did not answer. And late in the evening, amen, uh, Elijah came on the scene Hallelujah. and he said, all right, now go ahead and pour some water around this sacrifice. Praise God. Not one time, but three times. I thought that was very good. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, but what a sacrifice. There hadn't been no rain on the earth for three years in that area. And, and, and they went and poured water. Hallelujah. That's like a sacrifice to God. I'm amen. You, Elijah yeah. was making a sacrifice of water. Amen. Uh, uh, to the Lord. And you know, the Lord licked that up and, and he said, uh, if God be God, he said, uh, then let's serve God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I believe we're serving the right Savior yes. tonight. Amen. Amen. I believe we're serving the God amen, that died for you and me. I believe amen, we're serving the Creator of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. That we're serving one God. Amen. Thank under you, heaven. Amen. 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 But Elijah uh, uh, ran and told his servant to look over the hill. And he said, uh, he went up on Carmel and he put his head down between his knees. He said, go look see if there's any rain. Because the Lord told him, he said, when you show yourself... Hey, Abby said, I'm going to send rain. And he sent his servant seven times. He said, I see a cloud about the size of a man's hand. Praise God. I said, God will keep his word. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. I said, God will keep his word. Hallelujah. Praise God. You get down and you feel weary or like something's about to break over on you, don't, don't give up. Amen. I said, Amen. God will be right on time. Hallelujah. But you know, he run. Jezebel heard what. Uh, 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 what Elijah had done and made her big accusation toward him and of course he run and you know he wound up in a cave I'm getting where I'm going now praise God don't get worry on me Amen. but he wound up in a cave praise God listen to me he wound up in a cave yeah. and, and, uh, and, uh, and the word of the Lord spoke to him and he said Elijah what are you doing here and he, yeah. and, and, and he said uh, he said uh, step out here in, in the mouth of this cave and Elijah stepped out and the wind rent the wind blew and rent the rocks. Praise God. And, 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 and the tornado and the fire came, but God was not God was not in the wind. Hallelujah. God was not in the tornado. God was not in the fire. Amen. But in a still small voice. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to Elijah that day for probably the first time in a still small voice. Hallelujah. He said, Elijah, what are you doing here? He said, oh, but I'm jealous of the Lord. And he said, and I and I am only left, and they have killed all your prophets, amen, but me. And he told Elijah what to do. Told him exactly what to do. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. How long is it that we're going to walk with the Lord and see the manifestations of God's great power before we hear His voice? Praise God. Are we serving a God 
of judgment? Amen. Are we serving a God of condemnation and of wrath? Hallelujah. No, absolutely Hallelujah. not. Praise God. Elijah probably had not seen what we see today. That's right. Hallelujah. No way Elijah had seen what we see today. That's Praise right. God. That's right. Amen. Right. He's, he saw the judgment, judgment of 400 prophets of Baal. Yeah. He saw, amen, the, the prophets that was hid in the cave and whom Obadiah had fed. Praise God. Amen. But God is not a God of judgment. judgment. Praise God. We just read here, amen, we just read here that uh, uh, he said, uh, you, you are not of the right spirit. J James and John said, uh, let's call down fire out of heaven. Yeah. Would you that? We just call fire down out of heaven, Jesus, and consume them? Praise God. Huh? <laughs> he rebuked him. He said, you're not of the right spirit. You don't know what spirit you're of. You're not, you don't know what spirit you are of. Praise God. We need to be careful. Thank you, Jesus. We need to be careful uh -huh. here. Hallelujah. Out of grace. We see God. We see God now. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. We see Him more clearly now. Than than the Father. Had. He said, yeah. Amen. <laughs> I thought, is it the first time that I have really heard that still small voice of God? <laughs> is it really the first time I've really felt the intimacy of the love of God? Oh, Amen. Have I, have I had to come to a place in my life where I have stumbled and, and failed God before I could see Him as He really is? Yes, sir. Because, honey, it's amazing, uh -huh. amen, when you don't live up to your own spectacle expectations and you find out that God still loves you. Still loves you. Amen. When, when you fail your own self miserably and you find out that God still loves you, I said that's amazing grace. I said that's amazing that you realize amen, that God's love is so great and wonderful. Hallelujah. I know what the grace is all about. Praise God. I've seen uh, amazing grace. I've seen that uh <laughs> We put a lot on ourselves. And sometimes I think we live under the cloud uh -huh. of our own condemnation. No doubt. We're living under the cloud of our own condemnation, beating ourselves up, thinking that we, uh, we're not going to make it and we'll never be enough and, and, and we're nobody. Hallelujah. Well, I got news for you. Praise God. Amen. Oh. God knows where you are. He said He knows the numbers of hairs that's on your head. He said if five sparrows is sold for a, a little bit of nothing, He said you think He doesn't know about it. Are we not much more than the sparrow? Hallelujah. Amen. Take thought now. Amen. Of the lilies, neither do they soil, uh, toil or soil, but yet, look here, no beauty has arrayed them. Amen. Right. Not even like Solomon's beauty. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nothing any more beautiful amen, than to know that Jesus Christ forgave you and wiped away your sins yeah. and He loves you like your heart and He said, come on, hold it. Glory. There's Praise power. God. Amen. I said there's power. Yes. There's power yes. in forgiveness. forgiveness. Amen. amen. There's wow. power the grace of God. It releases yes, it does. the condemnation yeah. in which we try to uh, 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 live in. Yeah. Unconsciously. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, we don't even know we're walking under that cloud. Take it on ourselves. Praise God. Yeah. Honey, if Jesus forgive me, Amen. You just well get over it. Praise God. <laughs> I said, uh, I said, if God loves me, I guess you'll have to. Uh, well, glory. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't quite that way, is it? It ain't good. Praise God. That's a fact, brother. That's true preaching. There. In in uh, in the uh, Emmaus walk, I know some of you here have done that, and they have a time in that walk of where you set yourself apart. Uh, it's called dying moments. And until I had experienced that, I'm not sure that I saw the power that was in confession. I'm not sure that I realized I, I, I saw what confession could do. I saw that uh, true confession from the heart released uh, uh, the condemnation. And true uh, confession from the heart freed you up Amen. Uh, yes. to, to, to break those chains and the burdens oh. that you carry. 
And I, and I sat over there with a group of men in a great uh, uh, confidentiality agreement of confidentiality that what was said over there was not repeated and heard men testify and, and, and confess battles that they were going through and things that they were trying to endure. And they was being honest with their self. And they was being honest with God. Amen. And our God's power, hallelujah, <laughs> was manifested greatly. Amen. I, after I preached this message about Elijah hearing, amen, the small voice of God for the first time, the next morning I got up and was off to work real early. And the Lord just brought it to my attention. Amen. He said, uh, 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 the demonstration of my power is not in my judgment, uh, but the demonstration of my power is in the fact that I love you. Amen. That I love you like your heart. It takes more power for a God to overlook your faults and love you like you are than it would for Him. Amen. Just to uh, uh, forget about you. That's right. Praise That's right. God. That's right. Tonight, the demonstration of God's uh, power is not in His wrath. That's right. When, uh, I remember five years ago, maybe, and I, I don't have all the correct uh, 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 dates and and, and, and all the statistics, but uh, Florida was overtaken uh, in one season by seven hurricanes. They didn't no more get Florida built, and, they, and they here it come again. Amen. You couldn't even buy a stick of lumber or a sheet of drywall because uh, they were shipping it down there to rebuild Florida. And it wasn't long after that, amen, after Louisiana had lost its uh, boundaries and the Katrina had flooded it out. Hallelujah. And, and, and it's the same thing. People, people were in awful, awful, devastating uh, uh, shape. Some just left their homes and went to, into Houston and went into Texas and Alabama. Amen. Just walked off and left it. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And then it wasn't long over there off of the Indian Ocean. They had a tsunami. I didn't even know what a tsunami was. I guess they had one over in Washington back years ago. Amen. But that thing washed out most of Asia. A numerable number of people were killed over there under that tsunami. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. A, 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 a numerable amount of people were killed I in that. I and, and we could go on. Yeah. Just, just recently. Just recently. Right. Not to mention the war that's going on in Iraq and what we've done in Baghdad. Praise God. Amen. But all of that, hallelujah. Amen. We can't blame God. No, Amen. No, no, no. Oh no. I said the Lord's hand is reached out even still. I said the Lord's hand is stretched out even still. Yeah. Praise God. Yes, Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. It's a great demonstration of His power to say, Amen. Come on. Amen. If you'll ask me to forgive you, I will. I will. If you'll just yeah. accept me, Amen, and, and confess your faults, yeah. Amen, and be honest with yourself and be honest with yeah. me, yeah. He said, I'll take yeah. care of it. In Colossians, yeah. Amen, over there in the first chapter it talks about the operation of God hallelujah when the spirit begins to operate yeah. out of truth yeah. and when you obey God even the operation of God begins to manifest itself I, I can't explain it it sounds too good to be too true big. that I walked through a set of devil doors in a Pentecost church even bowed down my knees and confessed my sins to a God in whom I never seen but yet I believe and it changed my life Hallelujah. I believe he changed yours That's too. That's our God, amen. I believe he changed That's yours our too. God. Hallelujah. By the way, Terry, you're sitting there where they dumped me in that big old tank. <laughs> yeah, the tank's sitting right there where you're at, Terry. Had I thought about it, I'd looked in there and see where that guy went. But <laughs> at the time, it was irrelevant. <laughs> Ain't God good. Yes, he is. Yeah. Praise God. Look at here uh, in this passage again. Uh, James and John saw this that they said, Lord, will thou that we command fire come down from heaven and consume them even as Elijah did? But he turned and he rebuked them. You know, James and John got mad because they wouldn't they wouldn't receive Jesus. Hmm. Yep. James and John got up because all, even in Jesus' obscurity. He took a vow of obscurity. Isaiah even talked about it. He said he'd be led like a lamb, done before the slaughter. He'd not open his mouth. His voice would not be heard in the street. But honey, his fame went abroad. Praise Amen. God. Amen. He spoke and rose the dead. Amen. He healed the lepers. He healed the sick. Yes, he yes. fed the multitudes. Praise God. He, he brought this word and we have it today. Oh, Praise God. 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 He God. came in the obedience of his own father. Amen. Amen. And brought this word to us. Praise God. 
uh, no doubt we can't say that God is not a God uh, 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 that, he, that He will not judge. But He will. I said, yes, He will judge. My Lord, but He doesn't have to. See, in fact, He doesn't want to. Amen. He goes on to say, it's not His will that any should perish, but that all men would come to repentance. Praise God. He said, I pray. He said, the God of this world has blinded their eyes, but He said, I would pray that their eyes and their ears would be open. Amen. And they would repent and come to Me. He said, because He required it that all men would repent. Praise God. Hallelujah. So he, he, he will. Judgment is inevitable. Praise God. And you know, it, I don't know what your battle is. I don't know what wall you're trying to get over or what boundaries have holding you. I'm sure that we all got different vices. But honey, amen, as long as we're living and walking in shoot leather, uh, leather we're going to fight the same devil. I guarantee oh, that. Right. Yeah. you that. That's Praise right. God. Right. I don't know if the compulsiveness of your heart causes you to do things like gamble or smoke or drink or what it is that your little battle is. I don't know, amen, what where your battle is or where your ghost tied, it really doesn't matter to me. I've got my own battle. Amen. But I know for certain without a shadow of a doubt that there's one thing that will judge you. Amen. I know without a doubt whether it's that you're a gambler or a rammer. Amen. A, a dipper or a snipper or a slipper. I don't know. You can name them all, I guess. But there's one thing for sure that I know that will judge you if you fail to receive the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ oh, yes, as your Savior. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because we can say to our neighbor, Know ye the Lord. But Isaiah said, Say not, Know ye the Lord. For every man shall know oh, the Lord, Lord from the least unto the greatest. Yeah. They asked Jesus, Are they few there that be saved? Amen. He said, I say straight is the way, amen, that leads into eternal life. But broad is the way that leads to destruction. I, I believe he could have summed it up and said, It's up to you. Yes, come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Would it be bad to hear that song, Choices, Choices? Huh? I'm living now, today, for choices I made yesterday. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brother, play this music. Amen, if you will. Amen. Don't miss out tonight on the best thing you've ever found. Hallelujah. Don't reject to receive the Lord Jesus Christ tonight because He is very prevalent. Amen. Hallelujah. His love and His mercy is so great and overwhelming over His power. Praise God. I'm not looking for Him in His power. Amen. The Word says if we will judge ourselves right now, Amen, we need not be judged. Let the Word of God live in your heart today. Amen. Let it quicken you and cause you to live. Amen. Let your conscience, Amen, be alive. Keep it from being seared. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Brother Pat, as you play... Amen. I want you, if you're not, if you haven't received the Lord Jesus Christ, praise God. It's early. Amen. And we can take all night if it takes. I don't care. Praise God. And as Brother Pet plays, why don't you come? Thank you, Lord. Let's all stand for good. I remember the night that I did that. And I 
said, Lord, if you don't do something, if you don't change my life, all hope is gone. Because you see, I'd always heard if I would submit to him, he would change my life. And you know what? He did. And he did. Is there one here tonight that would step out? Make that choice. That voice is speaking to you right now. You need to step out and obey. Whether you're a young person or whether you're an old person, it makes no difference. And want to come in into the Lord in the closing hour time. Got the same reward. Everybody kind of bow your head just for a moment in reverence to the Lord and the Word of God. Nobody looking around. I cry. This message spoke to you tonight. Would you slip your hand up? I mean, really spoke to you. Don't allow the enemy to take it from you. Slip it up there and let us see. See that hand. Another one. I don't know about you, but I see that. I saw both. I raised up both hands. And I've served the Lord almost 40 years. And the Word of God spoke to my heart. Why don't you just step down and bow your knee down and have a talk with Jesus. That's all he asks. And there's an operation of God that can change your life just like that. Just like that. He can take your life and change it. Come on, Sid. Come on, bow your knee. Somebody else come. tried that before. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. Come on, one more time. Give Jesus a chance. Pour out your heart to him. And he'll make a difference in it. But you've got to take that step. You've got to do it. We can't do it. I got loved ones I want to see saved. But they got to take that step. They got to do it. Step out and obey God. Somebody else want to come by your knee before. This is between you and Jesus. Not between me and you or anybody else, anyone else. But it's between you and Him. The one that died on the cross. The one that said, Father, it's finished. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Why? So you could be here tonight and bow your knee before Him. And say, Lord, help me to do what I ought to do. Won't you come? Oh, if I could, I'd come for you. I know what he can do. The cross. He'll take your want to and change you. That's what he'll do. He'll take your want to and make it go away. Is there another one that'll come? I believe you heard the truth yeah. preach here yeah. just a little while. I don't take all night. Yeah. Come on now. Saints of God, come on down to the altar tonight. Some of you that are saved and love Jesus, come and bear your knee before God.
Oh, man.